ignited anger and brought national attention to the Wyoming Valley West School District in Luzerne County. Parents owing lunch money to the district were threatened with being sent to dependency court. The result may be your child being removed from your home and placed in foster care. They owe us an apology. <laughs> People living in the district, like daycare worker Janice Petlock of Larksville, are likely to see that apology. Newswatch 16 has learned school district officials are drafting a letter of apology to the parents and to the public. I think that that's the right thing to do. It was pretty awful sending that letter for that particular purpose. I think they should apologize to everybody. I think they made us all look real bad. And when kids head back to Wyoming Valley West High School in Plymouth, not a single parent will owe a lunch debt that prompted the threatening letter in the first place. Philadelphia businessman Todd Carmichael offered this week to pay off the $22,000 in lunch money owed to the district. At first, the Wyoming Valley West School Board president rejected the donation. I was upset, and I just said, guys, just don't, don't give up. You know, call them back. Maybe it's just emotion, but that was it. No more calls. They won't take calls. They won't do anything. But this morning, district leaders reversed course and agreed to accept it. I think they should have took the guy's money when he first offered it. Why they didn't, I don't know. That was just plain ridiculous. That's generous. That's generous. I think that, should, that was acceptable. I think they should accept it, and I think it was a very nice donation as well. Just in the past hour that uh, the apology letter has been posted online, its last line, please accept our sincere apology for any harm and inconvenience. It's also those who the district will also take donations from others who said they will are willing to pay some or all of that debt. The money will be earmarked for the district's Education Foundation. Dave Bowman, Newswatch 16. All right, Dave, thank you. Our area's been